My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. Fuck! Listen to me. So, so, so listen to me, listen to me. Huh? Listen. I'm gonna call you back in 30 minutes. And you better have answers. Welcome back to Bay Back Podcast. I'm your host. So, shots rang out at a Trump rally. Right? It wasn't a rap concert. It wasn't Chicago. It wasn't LA. It wasn't a Democrat state. No, 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 no. This was Redneck, Pennsylvania. This was no nigga allowed town, Pennsylvania. This was probably a sundown town, Pennsylvania, right? We know for sure who didn't do this. Let's get into it. So, in American history, there have been dozens of attempts on presidents' lives, right? right, right. You know, the first attempt was 1835, Andrew Jackson, by a white man, Richard Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? White on white crime. Lincoln had three attempts on his life until, you know, white man John Wilkes Booth finally got him, you know what I mean? I mean, three times, you know what I'm saying? By white people. William McKinley, I think 1901, by the guy named Leon Gonzalez, I don't know his last name, but that happened, you know what I'm saying? A tent, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm suspected it's a white, was a white man too. Then Franklin D. Roosevelt by a guy named Giuseppe. And I'm saying Giuseppe. Sounded like he was Italian to me. That that attempt happened. 1955, no, 1950, Harriet Truman was I'm saying was 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 was, you know, attempted, you know, plot by two Puerto Ricans. I'm saying Puerto Ricans try to assassinate a, 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 a American president. Like, like we know JFK got his ass smoked in nineteen sixty-three. Gerald Ford had two attempts by two white women. And George Bush even had a, a grenade through him in 2005, right? But the world is, what we do know, a nigga didn't do this. Because we, do, because we, do, we don't assassinate presidents. Even though we have the right to, I mean, not a right to, no one had a right to be a president, but we have more, you know what I'm saying, reasons to, but we never do. You know why? Because we are the only American Patriots in this country. You know how we know we heroes. You know how Trump know no one black did this. He threw up the black fist a consolidary. You know how I know Trump know that we didn't do this because at the end when everything's all clear and shit, he wanted his shoes back. I'm saying, which is a weird request when somebody shooting at you, but you know he a gangster. Give my goddamn shoes for fuck them bitches and shooting at me. But he you know he did. He threw up the black fist a consolidary. It ain't the BLM fist. BLM fist, Jack. That's the black fist of revolution. The black fist of solidarity, the same fist that Tommy Smith and John Carlos threw up in the um, Summer Olympics in uh, uh, 1968, right? You know what I'm saying? That's the black fist. It's like, he doing this shit. And as he doing this, they going, USA, USA. So, you know, we didn't have to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, we didn't do that shit. But who, who could it have been? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we, first of all, we got to assume it was the left. We got to assume it was the Democrats. I'm, I'm not saying it, it, it was it was Joe Biden, but these goddamn, these goddamn Democrats and liberals are so damn desperate. They try to put Trump in jail. They try to do anything they could do. So I won't be surprised if the Democratic Party did this. But who could it have been? I'm saying, who are the extremists of the Democratic Party? Well, we know Antifa are extremist terrorist group in America. Um, You know... The goddamn LGBTQ are fucking crazy, especially them the people on the dresses. You know what I'm saying, you know, they crazy as fuck. They unstable. You know, they want their rights taken. Who, 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 who else? Who else this could have been? Um, it could have been the goddamn crazy ass Venezuelans. It could have been um any of these Haitian immigrants. It could have been any of these African. It could have been anybody Trump deported. If it's an immigrant. All immigrants is on board. It could have been it could have been any immigrant ethnicity, any white ethnicity, because you, know, you got white terrorists. It could have been a school shooter. It could have been a goddamn, you know, extremist. You know, white people are extremists and shit. They got all the guns, you know, they're crazy. It could have been a a, a a 17 to 21 year old white boy, you know what I'm saying? You know, because they're under the the, the the FBI terrorist list, you know. It could have been somebody somebody white unstable. It could have been somebody white who killed their parents. You know, white people are fucking crazy. It could have been any of them. It could have been any Venezuelan gang, MS-13. could have been a mafia. The mafia have a, have a history of doing shit to presidents. I'm saying, you know, Puerto Ricans. It could have been anybody in the world, but we know for sure it wasn't nobody in Chicago. It wasn't no blood. It wasn't no crip. It wasn't nobody in the Democratic Party. Like they love to say, what about the Democratic cities? It, it wasn't nobody who's, who did any black on black crime. That's for sure we know that, right? Because we don't do that. that those ain't our crimes. Because we are the only patriots here. And Donald Trump sold you the, fist of, the, the, the black power fist. 
<laughs> it's funny to see a white man with black power fist. You know what I'm saying this election is dangerous because you know January 6th, we know Trump people raided the goddamn. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> the goddamn capital. Now you got, I can only allege the Democratic power. I don't want to say Joe Biden, you know what I'm saying? But you know, got they're desperate. So now they're throwing shots. I mean, I mean, you know, the red versus the blue. It seems like it's a gang to me. I'm saying, goddamn, Republicans, they shot your motherfucking president and you ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> it sounds like it could be a civil war between amongst these these white parties. It don't concern us. You know I'm saying we cool with Trump. Trump cool with us. You know what I'm saying he, he gave us some bread. I mean, it could have been anybody but black America. It could have been a Haitian. Could have been Caribbean. Could have been an African. It could have been a European. It could have been a, 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 a Asian. You know what I'm saying it could have been a, one of these Chinese nationalists that came in through the border. It could have been anybody, anybody but black Americans. And I guarantee you for sure we know it wasn't it because we don't do shit like that. We don't get motherfucking sniper rifles and shit like that. I mean, DC sniper. Those was, I think those was immigrants. I ain't sure, but like, that's not that's not our forte. You know what I'm saying that's that's not what we do. We might ride, we might burn some shit down, we might protest, but we ain't gonna shoot a motherfucking president. Nigga, that's 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 that's, that's goddamn death row for black nigga. We we don't want that. We will burn some shit down and bust up windows and shit. We will we'll loot. But we go kill, especially the president we cool with. That was Trump is the coolest president. Granted, he's racist. Granted, he ain't do shit for us. But he he didn't mass he ain't mass incarcerators. He ain't piss on us and call it rain like, like Joe Biden doing. You know I'm saying, and Joe Biden losing his goddamn mind. Going to come out of Harris. He going to come out of Harris. Vice president, vice president Trump. This nigga is losing it. This nigga is losing it. And the Democrats is down bad. They down real bad. Now, see, they try to lock them up. That ain't work. They calling them a criminal. That's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're so desperate. And that was an attempt. Now, I'm not saying it was real or fake. I don't really know. But I know for sure if it was real and, 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 I mean, it's funny how convenient. I think bullets are racist, right? Think about it. Fucking Mex bullets hit him. He died. Um, MLK bullets hit him. He died. Fred Hampton's bullets hit him. He died. And, um, um. Mega Everett's bullets hit him. He died. Martin Luther King's mom died from bullets. Like, all these people get assassinated. Every time somebody black get assassinated, it's like, okay, it's over and done. But a white motherfucker get an attempt. It's like bullets It's like bullets are racist. <laughs> it's like bullets don't want to hit these white motherfuckers, right? They only seem like they don't want to hit us and our leaders. They don't want to hit no white leaders. When the last time, besides, I, the last time a motherfucker president got his ass slumped was JFK. And he was trying to help black people. Got his ass slumped for trying to help black people. Lincoln, free the slave, got his ass slumped, trying to help black. So if you try to help black people, or if, if you are a black leader, it's for sure them bullets were not missed. But it seemed like if you do nothing for my black people, you'll be all right. It's a little temp. It's a little theater. I mean, this shit ain't real. I mean, this shit ain't real. I mean, okay. He can, now, now what's next? Now he's a hero. Now you're going to play Hulk Hogan theme song and shit. I am a real American. Throwing up the, the, the Black Panther song. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Look, look, look. He ain't throw up no sign. He ain't throw up the horns people been throwing up. He ain't throw up the peace sign. He ain't throw up nothing. He, he threw up the black fist of consolidarity. The black liberation fist. Our shit. That's how you... Who's more American than us? Trump, no. Trump even said it. Nigga, black Americans built this country, and we don't get no credit for it. Some shit Joe Biden would never say. I'm glad Trump is all right. Republicans, I expect retaliation. Not instigating. I don't, I don't promote no violence, but I'm saying this motherfucker shot your motherfucking president. Shot your motherfucking leader. You saw the ass, these, these, these motherfucking weirdo ass. You know, like these weird ass people from the left. I know you're harder than them. Y'all got the NRA, NRA on your team and all that. Y'all got them saying, yeah, y'all got, y'all got. Y'all got y'all got the Proud Boys and all that. Y'all got you got all these all these all these alt right gangs and shit. <laughs> Yo, look, white people. America is full of white gangs and white terrorist organizations. They don't, they don't promote this shit. Look, look, look how disrespectful these white motherfuckers are. You gonna shoot a president? And they smoked his ass too. So somebody somebody got their ass smoked. But uh, come on, how, how how you miss all them shots and, and you hit a nigga airlow? I bet you if he was black, you wouldn't have motherfucking miss. All right, so with that being said, you know, Trump is, Trump is good, I'm saying, but, you know, I, res I, 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 I expect it wasn't a motherfucking lone wolf. I don't want to hear it was a motherfucking lone wolf. I don't want to hear all that, oh, oh, it was, a, it was nah, I want to hear who the fuck the motherfucker was, who he was associated with, and everybody he was associated with need to be investigated and put in behind bars. Everybody. He was on 4chan, if he had a, a manifesto, nigga, everybody, his mom, his, his, his daughter, his brothers, all his friend group, everybody need to be arrested.
Everybody in his phone should be investigated. And I don't want to hear none of that shit. I want a motherfucking 60. I want a 400 page indictment on his motherfucking, his friends and his association. I want the gun manufacturing investigated, charged, shut down, brought to justice. Like, um, I want his landlord charged for harvesting the goddamn fugitive. I want his parents charged for, 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 for raising a goddamn, a goddamn delinquent terrorist. I want his girlfriend Charged for giving some a terrorist some pussy, ate in the bed and inspiring this motherfucker. I want the McDonald's he ate from last charged for feeding the goddamn terrorists on our country. I, I, I want his family deported because you know he was an immigrant. Ellis Island, he was a Latino or something. Because you know he was an immigrant. You know he was a, he, he wasn't here since 18, he was here since 1775. You know he's a goddamn immigrant. If he came from Ellis Island, I want his whole bloodline deported. I'm tired of these, immig- these white immigrants. I don't care if he's a Latino immigrant. Whatever immigrant he was, I want this whole immigrant group deported. If, he, if he's Irish, I want all these Irish motherfuckers under investigation. Pronto, stat. If he's a Latino, I want all these goddamn Latino, whatever Latino group he was, I want all them investigated, stat. I want all his cousins, I want all his fucking nieces and brothers and uncles, all in investigation, stat. We gotta tighten this shit up. We can't have these immigrants in here killing goddamn white presidents. They ain't even try to kill Obama. That's how you know this is, that's how you know it's, it's, it's a fucking, it's a conspiracy because you wanna kill white conservative Donald Trump and not kill liberal ass mixed African Kenyan, Muslim, immigrant ass, coon ass, homosexual, Obama. Nah, something ain't right, something ain't right, something ain't right. White people got something brewing and I don't trust it. I I, I, I don't trust it. I, I want to see a 60 page report on my goddamn TikTok tomorrow stat. But yeah, though, man, it, it could have been, it, it could have been Antifa, it could have been somebody in the LGBTQ, it could have been somebody George Soros hired, you know, you know, he's a super villain that no one talks about. I mean, it could have been, it could have been the Rothschilds. It, it ain't no telling who has an agenda. Who, who? It, it, ain't, it ain't black people. It ain't us. It ain't us. But, but shout out to the, to the goddamn secret services who, who was cut, who was for risking life for this goddamn Trump. These motherfuckers, it was, it's, Bullet shooting. These motherfuckers is gardening. These motherfuckers running t- towards the goddamn target. Salute them. They need raises. They need to be. They, they those are my national heroes. Those motherfuckers are heroes and they are fucking bold. And and shout out to the whoever, whoever, whoever sniped the goddamn sniper. Shout out to him. The fuck was he? Was he? He had to be. A, it, who, who hired this motherfucker? This, this motherfucker had to be. He can't have been a professional. Professionals don't miss. And I bet you if Trump was ass as black as ass, he'd been out of there. This is muffin cat back blue. But anyway, man, that's a bit bad podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, shit real. Yeah, that here trying to assassinate ex presidents and shit. This might be a violent election. Cause they, cause they're already doing everything, they're trying to lock him up. They, they're trying to discredit him. They're calling him a criminal. Like we give a fuck, he's a criminal. And America was, was built by criminals. You can't shame Trump by calling a motherfucker a criminal. This motherfucker, America was built by criminals. And nigga, Abraham Lincoln was a criminal. Um, George Washington was a criminal. Andrew Jackson was a criminal. Thomas Jefferson was a criminal. Benjamin Franklin was a goddamn, you know what I'm saying? This is all, all the motherfuckers. This was founded by, by criminals and, and, and rapists and, and slave masters. Can't shame him by trying to pay a bitch. Nigga, that's not a bribe of that bitch. That's not, that's not even a crime. Anyway, that's a bit better podcast, man. I should subscribe. Oh, got an update. And um, as I was editing this, got new information. And I was right. It was a white male under 17 to 21. Identify as trans, aka the LGBTQ, and come to find out, Nashville had a trans. Um, the Houston church shooter was a trans. The Colorado Spring shooter, non-binary, aka trans. The Denver shooter, trans. The Arbor Dean shooter, trans. Are trans men the, or, or trans people the new radical terrorist group? It seems like to me it's becoming a pattern. Now, I know I can't talk too much about tra- how I really feel about these trans motherfuckers, but it seems to me these motherfuckers are off their rocker. Can we put them, can we put trans back on, you know, the mentally ill category again? Could we reclassify these motherfuckers as mentally off when these people want to go into bathrooms with little children, when, when they want to, you know, do things with little children and when they want to assault women, when they want to go to prison and impregnate other women? Is this not a problem? Is this not a problem when a, a, a child can identify as trans, but they can't go to a bar and get a drink, when they can't buy a gun, we can't get a tattoo, but they can change their gender by themselves without their parents' permission? Is this not a problem? Is this is is the transgender not a problem? They reach the highest level of terrorism is shooting the, the the president of the free world. 
Is this not a problem? I'm not being biased. I don't want a YouTube strike. I'm asking a question because it's multiple shootings recorded, identify as these white male or AKA these white trans. Are we, can we stop pretending that these people are women now or do I, do I got to pretend still? Is it, is it, is it still illegal in some places that we can't call? We can't misidentify these people or else we be in trouble. Is this still going on? Is this not out of hand? Project 2025. Need to be in progress. Speed it up. Expedite it. Give it to these immigrants. Give it to these weirdos. Expedite it. I don't care if the president want, want for carte blanche. Well, fuck it. Run it. It don't affect us anyway. They get, the, the school shit don't affect us. They get the oppression. The second, none of that shit affect us anyway. We already deal with it. We fine without it. Bring that shit on. We didn't get shit back intact. Let Trump, if Trump want to be a motherfucking dictator, fucking let him be. He, he, he was a good president. Cause this is out of hand. We got, we got these people who we can't even identify him correctly because we get in trouble. So we got to play their fucking game and they're a fucking minority. They're, they're less than 1% of the population. We got to bow to these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he was an Eminem listener. I sure, I'm sure he loved I'm sure Eminem was his best rapper. Speaking on Eminem, I know his album was trash. I don't got to review it. I don't want to hear all that bullshit. I can predict it. He named the latest people that's popular. He probably named some politicians. He probably is about rape, death, drugs. Um, he be offending somebody. Shock value. He probably dissing the LGBTQ. Probably got a bunch of gay jokes in his rap. Probably saying something homosexual. Probably saying something racist. Probably offending everybody under, oh, I want to be canceled. And he probably offending everybody except the Jews. You notice... Out of all his career, he does everybody, offends everybody. He's predictable, but he never go against the Jews. That's how no Eminem is full of shit. Music, it's not about rapidly rapping all that math and syllables and, and time and words. That's not. It's about connecting with the soul, connecting with emotions. It's about feeling, nostalgia. It's about education. It's about learning. It's about, it's about relating to people. It's not about all that goofy shit he does. That's why he's irrelevant. That's why he's the worst rapper of all time. Eminem is trash. Let's move along. Eminem is corny. His album is corny. And I don't want to hear that bullshit. And I'm sure this guy or this woman or whatever the weirdo is, love, love Eminem. Loved him. And I don't want to be sexist or I don't want to, I don't know what's going on. This guy, 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks, identified as a trainer. He's a blind hair, quagmire face man. But he identifies trans. So I guess I guess I'm forced to call this guy a trans. I would never call a man a woman. I don't care. I would never do that. But it's a trans. Evidently born a, with a penis and, and XY chromosomes. And he looked like fucking Quagmire. He's a shooter. Is this not becoming a problem? Are we gonna ignore this problem that's growing? Or are we gonna keep letting it grow? This is this the, the T's are from the LGBT community. I, I we, we we gotta help the LGBTQ community responsible. Pressure need to be on them. They need to be they need to be studied. They need to be investigated. They need to be prosecuted. Cause now it's, it seems like they're breeding terrorists and radical groups in America, and we don't need that. Is there a Black American training that does this? I expect LGBTQ RICO charges. I expect the T's to be investigated. I expect it to be harder for young white males under thirty to get guns. I don't care about the, the criminal background, to, cause it seems like these white people always not that seem to have no backgrounds. No felonies, but yet they, they, they always end up getting guns to, to commit mass shootings. So a background check don't mean nothing. If he's a white male under 30, it should be illegal for white males under 30 to get guns because they get guns, they shoot schools, they shoot at presidents, they shoot grocery stores, they, they shoot churches, elementary schools, synagogues, military bases, things the black people never shot and will never shoot. We never shoot up a church a synagogue, a mosque, a daycare, elementary school. That shit is sick. These people are sick and they should be criminalized. They shouldn't criminalize black people for gun possession who ain't harm nobody, who ain't even shoot nobody, but they got criminal records, but they get criminalized as opposed to people who have no criminal records, who always terrorizing vulnerable people in large populations, schools, grocery stores, mosques, um, synagogues, military bases, college campuses, spas, even, even Asians and Latinos are included in this too. Everybody get to get guns, but no one gets to get prosecuted. But when black Americans just, just touch, just hold, just have a gun, he's a felony. He's in the feds. Do what I'm saying? But these Latinos, these Asians and these white people get to get guns and be fucking 
terrorists, American terrorists. But check, y'all want to stigmatize the black people as criminals and you ignore these people. These people with mental illnesses. These people are mentally fucking unstable. These people who go to fucking psychiatric homes, who go to, who go to psychiatric hospitals, who check themselves in, who have a history of, of mental disabilities. These people fuck be fucking on medications and shit, but they still get, they still get, they still get allowed to pass their background test. A background test doesn't mean nothing. And then they get off the books or they decriminalize white people and start criminalizing black people for this dumb shit. Got black people doing 10, 15 years in federal prison just for possession of gun who ain't shoot nobody. And these people get to die free for after killing people and shooting large amounts of people. This shit is insane. They, they, they go out being vigilantes so nobody asked them to. Lions ain't there to protect property. End up shooting protesters. We it's, it's time for the government to put the pressure on young white males having guns, especially AR-15s, especially assault rifles, because these people are the new terrorists on left and right. The alt-right and extremist left. The liberals have terrorists. The conservative have terrorists. The Democrats have white terrorists. The Republicans have white terrorists. White males under the age of 30 cannot be trusted with guns. They are mass shooters, school shooters, and it has nothing to do with Chicago. Detroit has nothing to do. People, people in Chicago, Detroit, and the worst towns in Memphis, New Orleans, they don't shoot random people and they don't shoot presidents, they don't shoot government officials, but these terrorists, these young white people from middle America, from PA, with no felonies on their records, always seem to commit mass shootings. That's the issue that need to be addressed. It ain't the people with felonies doing this. It's these weirdos who, who have depression, who, who, who have both their parents, who come from good homes. It's always the people with good homes and double parents doing shit like this. So the same people with the highest pedophile rates, the highest rape rates, the highest rates of killing your parents, the highest rate of making fucking bombs in their basement, the highest percentages of tying people and hiding people in their basement, the, 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 the the most serial killers. They abduct the most kids. These are the people that don't criminalize them and put the label criminal on when they do the most horrendous shit. Okay, so yeah, black, black people, you know, I right, they gang bang. We sell crack a little bit, but we, we, we harm each other of the same age. And you got a few casualties, but these people target innocent people, innocent children, innocent elders. People kill their parents and shit. Put people in graves with lie and shit in their backyard and shit. Make lampshades out of people. The Menendez brothers. William Gacy, um, Ted Bundy, these people who come from these backgrounds who y'all overlook as normal. These people are not fucking normal. It's not in them to be normal, but y'all don't criminalize them. Y'all criminalizing the wrong people. Black Americans don't do the weird shit white people in suburbs do. The people in the hood, the people in the ghettos don't do the weird shit white people do, which is kind of crazy because you would think that Black people will be fed up who will be targeting government officials doing, but that we don't do shit like that is these people who y'all ignore. We y'all want to give second and third and fourth and fifth chances to people who don't criminalize people who you say he's a good kid. Cause he look like a fucking, like your son or your nephew or your kid, or he look like he mind you or you, these motherfuckers who, who, who abuse their parents, who do drugs, who, who still can parents drugs like their medicine cab at eight years old, nine years old. they be alcoholics at 12 and 11, all types of family, pedophilia and weird shit these people be going through from from the suburbs to the trailer park these people are trouble they need to be policed and detained these the people who are the super predators of america fucking joe biden it wasn't us it's people like him in them suburbs those are super predators people who try to shoot presidents who do mass shootings who make, fucking make pipe bombs fucking timothy mcveigh those are super predators not us they're classifying the wrong people. And it's time to address this shit. Put the right labels and stereotypes on the right people. It's those people in the suburbs. Them blind hair, blue eyed motherfuckers who y'all praise. Look in the fucking mirror. Y'all the super predators. Locking up innocent people for what? And letting these fucking criminals and terrorists roam free at leisure. Nope, it's time to recalibrate who's who and what's what. It's time, it's time to recriminalize people. It's time, it's, 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 it's time to put the right labels on people. It ain't us. It's them. It's you. It needs to be an issue. They need to be stereotyped. They need to be prosecuted. They need to be police. Their communities need to be, be, be police. Anytime a white person has a gun in public or a rifle, they, the ATF should be at their house asking them what are they doing with it.
mental evaluation. These people have mental illnesses that's going unchecked and it's still allowed to get guns while you're filling up jails with black males who just possession guns, but they ain't shooting nobody, but they're getting felonies on the charges for possessing the gun, but they ain't harming nobody. That's a form of discrimination that needs to be stopped. Them laws need to be off the books. If they can have guns, everyone should have guns. If, if trainees can have guns, knowing they're mentally unstable, everyone should be allowed to have guns. Most trainees are white males. Most LGBTQ are white males. And that used to be a mental illness in 73. What happened? Why is it not a mental illness no more? That needs to be investigated. That needs to be studied. And we need to push for that again because innocent people are getting killed by letting these people go into the rug, under the radar, knowing it's wrong to dress like a, knowing something's wrong with you if you want to identify as anything other than what you're born at. Discriminating, not being sexist, not, not trying to be funny, not trying to be hateful, but this is the truth. It needs to be stopped. These people are becoming more and more bold. You can't get bolder than shooting a president. What's next? Ain't the black Americans doing this as just being stereotyped? You need to fill these jails up with these white males that possess these guns. They should be in jail. They should be prosecuted. They don't got criminal records, but they should have. If they, if a form of mental illness or depression should be, it should be taken seriously as a felony. If they have a mental illness, that should be just as good as a felony to disqualify them to not have a gun. Any type of mental illness or or, or, or mental mentally disabled people, that should be that should that should be a mark that disqualifies you from having a gun. And that's just not being addressed. Black Americans don't shoot presidents because we're the only patriots. This is a white man. He's not from Chicago. He's a white male. He's blonde hair and blue eye. And that's all I got to say. Y'all want to put all the stereotypes on all the black crime. Nigga, I'm identifying a white male as another terrorist group. As most shooters are, our most school shooters, public shooters, grocery store shooters are. This is the fact, and they need to be investigated because these are the terrorists of America that we seem to ignore. Too much focus on black gangs and drug dealers where, where, where they're trying to make a living and survive. When they're deprived of resources, but these white males, these weirdos get all the resources, all the opportunities, and they're still depressed. They still want drugs. They still violent. They still got all the opportunities. They still got all the advantages they could get, but yet they're terrorists. Take them same resources and put it in black Americans, the same opportunities he had, and I bet you it'll be a better investment for this country. We got we to stop spoiling these white weirdos in these in these cul-de-sacs in these suburbs because they don't do nothing but do drugs like look, 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 look at hunter biden like these people are degenerate by nature think about it you have all the opportunity to be anything in the world nothing's holding you back no segregation no discrimination no racism and yet you want to take it upon yourself to be a uh, sex you're not born as and you want to shoot people in mass and be racist and be reverse sexist because when you a man who say you're a woman and you want to be identified as a woman, that's a, that's a form of reverse sexism. I don't want to strike YouTube. I'm not being, I'm, I'm having a real conversation. I'm not being disrespectful. These people have no reason to want to shoot anybody. These people are the most, most oppressed. These people are the most depressed people, the most, the highest suicide rate for what? The waste of resources, waste of nepotism, waste of opportunity. Waste of favoritism by the government. Black Americans have never do nothing like this. We never did nothing like this. And we are the most, we are, we are the most oppressed. We are the most oppressed. We get the less resources. And yet we still never turn out like this. We ain't the weirdos and we ain't, we ain't the goddamn mass shooters and terrorists and serial killers that the suburbs provide. They got all these school shooters, all these serial killers are all from white neighborhoods, opportunity and favoritism of the government. It's, 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 it's the result of racism that's unnecessary because if we had equal opportunity, this would be a better country. The white government is giving pearls to swine. These people are swine. The opportunities they get are pearls. They don't even deserve it. They ain't even worthy of it. Squalor, squalor opportunity. Threw his whole life away. Try to kill a president. For what? What is he upset about? Is he don't like himself? Why is he depressed? I bet he was on drugs. Cocaine, ketamine, crystal meth. All this weird shit these people do. But yet we are classified. We are pressed. We are prison. Put these motherfuckers in jail. Put these drug addicts in jail. Put these weirdos in jail. Because you can't act like they don't assault children. You can't act like they don't do grapes. You can't act like this is not a problem. To be a bad podcast, man. This is swine. This guy is swine. And his opportunities was pearls that was wasted. Give pearls to kings and black Americans are kings. To be a bad podcast, man. In all fairness, if he's not a tranny, I would like to apologize 
to the um you know training community LGBT community. I'm just going on information that's being fed to me. So it's not verified yet he was a trainee, but we do know he is white. He is fucking mentally off. I'm saying he 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 is he is a white blonde haired man. You know what I'm saying, and he could be a trainee. But if he's not, disregard everything I said about trainees. You know, disregard all them shooters. I, I name. You know what I'm saying. But if he is, then you know apply. But I don't I don't want to give out false information. You know what I'm saying. So if it's true that he is a trainee. Okay, it applies. But if he's not, it don't. Never mind that. I'm saying I raced that whole little, little, my little rant. I'm saying because you know, it's, it's still early in the investigation. We, we don't know too much about this weirdo. In all fairness, it hasn't been verified that he's a tranny. It only been, you know, assumed and, and suggested. And I'm based on the information I got. I got it kind of early. So I don't know if it's true or not. But if it's not true, I'd like to apologize to the T community. No offense. You know, a race. I'm saying scratch that. But if it is true, you know, it applies. But if it don't, I like to apologize. I, I don't like to give out false information, I'm saying. And I went on a whole rant. But I'm just saying, if it is true, it's true. It's, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? But if it's not, I got kind of like, you know, dug a hole. I like to apologize in advance. But I never apologize to these people for anything. But I don't like to give out false information. I don't like to, you know what I mean? I said some, I said some, I said some, I said some fucking shit. I, some, I, I went kind of hard. I went kind of hard. But, you know. Players fuck up sometimes.